Hey, what is going on pros and pros? This is Mr. Lyman HD here and welcome to another drinks review. Today we're reviewing the new Coke and this one specifically Diet Coke and it's be on the exotic mango flavour. So these drinks are new and they are out of Tesco's. Um, I had to get a big bottle unfortunately because at the time they didn't have any small bottles uh, available like normal, you know, 500ml bottles. Um, but they do do them now, I believe. Um, and I didn't pick this drink up, my actually girlfriend picked this drink up for me because my Tesco didn't do it when I went to got them, but they do them now. I think they were just struggling to get uh, the supply. But anyways, I believe they were, I think she said they were like uh, on offer or something. She said she couldn't remember the price, which is weird, but uh, you know, I don't think they're that expensive anyway. The big bottle's always cheaper, I think it was probably like a pound or something. But um, nevertheless, exotic mango. Will it stick around? We don't know. They're obviously trying to do this to get people to buy it again. But um, is it any good? Well, we'll find out. So as it is diet, of course, it is no sugar, no calories. And uh, that's pretty much about it. I will give you guys a full 360 of the uh, label. As you can see, usual logo, you know, well, Diet Coke logo and design. Um, kind of not much on the back. So Diet Coke does indeed have a uh, spa team, unfortunately, but um, there we are. And it contains a Sula Flame K. Sparkling, low calorie mango flavor soft drink, vegetable extracts and sweeteners. And it probably contains five servings. So again, this is a different type of drink review. It's not my usual energy drink review, so it will be a little bit different, but... Um, there we are. So it's nice and cold. I've got cup. Let's just try into it. Hopefully, it doesn't explode over me. Right. Coke is very, very fizzy. It's the fizziest drink I think I've ever had. So, um, yes, let's just do this away from the camera just in case and my TV. There we go. Don't let it fizz over. There we go. So as you can see, tons and tons of, tons and tons of bubbles as you expect with Coke. The colour is of course normal Coke colour which is just the colour of death or kind of just a really really dark black brown colour. The smell. Hmm. It just smells of something sweet. Nothing in particular in terms of sweetness um, with the smell. It just, it just smells like a generic sweetness. Hmm. Yeah, I can't really get much of a smell of it. But nevertheless, let's uh, taste some. Hmm. So the fizz is super fizzy as always, as usual. But um, as far as the flavour is concerned, there is the Coke, the Diet Coke in there, as you'd expect. Now, everyone says Diet is the nastiest compared to Zero and Full. Personally, I prefer Zero the best and only, only drink Zero or, or Diet if it's obviously there's no Zero. Um, but there is, there is a little bit of mango in there, but it's not super strong. It almost tastes like... I don't know. If you think of like Rubicon mango juice, it doesn't taste like that. If you think of... I don't know, a mango energy drink, it doesn't taste like a mango energy drink. It it literally tastes of, it does taste, it tastes a little bit artificial mango to be fair with you. It doesn't taste, doesn't taste like actual mango juice like out of a carton, um, which is actually like real mango juice. This doesn't seem like it, it's got like real juice in it, um, which I don't, you know, think it has. It just says, to us, it gives us no information on the mango itself. It just says mango flavour, so... I highly doubt there's real mango juice in here or any real sort of mango. It's just an artificial flavour. Um, yeah, it doesn't say on here there's no artificial flavours or anything, so I really have no idea in terms of the mango flavour. But according to the bottle, from what they tell us, you know, I have to believe it's an artificial flavour and all that. Um, so going from that, I guess, yeah, it does taste a little bit artificial. doesn't taste as real, like, as a carton mango or even a Rubicon mango or anything like that. Um, the sweetness isn't super sweet, which is nice because, you know, it is, you know, sugar-free. Um, so obviously that does save tons and tons of sugar compared to full sugar Coke. Um, but for the most part, it is okay. Like, it's not amazing. 
it's it's all right. There's a little, there's a little bit of mango, artificial mango flavour in there. Uh, really, not anything on the aftertaste. It's just so little mango flavour in there. You can't, you know, really compensate for anything. Hmm, it's all right. But compared to compared to Coke Zero's vanilla, that is amazing. Coke Zero's vanilla, they've really, really perfected that because even though only again is that fully sugar free, that has a really nice strong vanilla flavour. That doesn't taste. In fact, it tastes just like bars, uh, you know, cream soda or something like that. Like, you know, like a vanilla. That tastes really good. But this, I don't know. I don't think this will last around. People buy it and think that's all right. But um. Who knows? But anyways, do I give it a thumbs up or do I give it in the middle? Because it's not amazing, it's not nasty, it's kind of just, hmm, okay. You know, a little bit of artificial mango. There we are. Um, you know what, I'll give it in the middle. I'll be fair with it, I'll give it in the middle. You know, not amazing, not nasty, just kind of like, right, okay. <laughs> so, as always, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you all later.